Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. One question I am frequently asked, and certainly a topic that we kick around quite a bit uh, on the website, is the question of how much alcohol does it make sense to consume. Many reports have demonstrated what we call a U-shaped curve, indicating that uh, there is increased risk with respect to brain health of having no alcohol, and certainly high levels of alcohol are not good for the brain either. But most of the literature has really suggested that somewhere in the middle might be the Goldilocks uh, position. And, uh, you know, that would be perhaps one glass of red wine per day for a woman, perhaps two glasses of wine, red wine per day for a man, I think would be the best recommendation. Well, a new study just appeared in Scientific Reports. The title is Beneficial Effects of Low Alcohol Exposure, but Adverse Effects of High Alcohol Intake on glymphatic function. I will explain. The researchers looked at laboratory animals, specifically mice, and gave them low versus high amounts of alcohol. The low dosage of alcohol uh, was 0.5 grams per kilogram. So for somebody of my body size, uh, that would be about uh, perhaps two and a half glasses of wine. Uh, that's uh, it considering that there'd be about 14 grams or so of alcohol in a glass of wine. The higher dose that they looked at was 1.5 uh, grams of alcohol per kilogram body weight. I don't mean to be too technical, but that would be, you know, about seven, uh, about seven to seven and a half glasses of wine. We would consider that high. And uh, this is what the researchers called uh, what you might get if you're involved in binge drinking. And they measured, as uh, we described in the title, the, uh, the effect on the glymphatic system. They measured the effects of these varying dosages of alcohol in these laboratory animals on a system that was fairly recently discovered within the brain called the glymphatic system that really has to do with the ability of the brain cells uh, to protect themselves against the buildup of various toxic things. So the glymphatic system is a system that is active more so during sleep, uh, and it is a system that is involved in how the brain purges itself or cleans house. And what the researchers found was that the low levels of alcohol uh, actually seem to be very activating in terms of this glymphatic system, allowing the brain to clean itself, if you will, in comparison to the high level of alcohol intake versus no alcohol as well. So the best findings, at least in the laboratory animal, were when the laboratory animals were administered the, the low dosage of alcohol being better than none and being better than high dosage. Now, um, you know, there are all a lot of things you could say about extrapolating animal data to the human, and I understand that, but I think it does add to our narrative in terms of the sweet spot, i.e. Uh, that uh, there is a, a spot in the middle somewhere as it relates to exercise, as it relates to uh, things like sleep, uh, that are best for our health. Now, I think the story as it relates to alcohol will continue to evolve, uh, but for now, I think that a glass or two of red wine is probably a good choice. We know that that is a rich source of other things as well that are good for your body and your microbiome, like polyphenols. And from the results of this study that recently appeared, as, as I described, it looks like that is the best dosage in terms of activating the glymphatic system, allowing your nervous system to clean itself. Uh, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.